What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today guys, we're back on the dealership map, we're back here at Ravenport John Deere, guys, we've added a few things to the server, some which are some new uh, shops, but I'll go over it a little later as we go, but real quick guys, if y'all do enjoy today's dealership video smash like in today's video if you guys want to help support the channel hit that subscribe button as well also quick announcement if y'all check down in the link down in the description there's a new link in there i have partnered up with w energy so i'll do some more promotional stuff for them at a later date not much later i'm just waiting for a few things to show up but before we but before I really do a full invert of that, I want to make sure I get that stuff in. But link down below, code more farmer in the uh, promotion. Let's get into today's video. So obviously, we got our ag side. Now you guys wanted the construction side. Well, my shop's not big enough. For the construction equipment until today I have went around and I searched around for equipment and I was searching around for buildings we now got a much more legit setup but before we get over there to that building there in front of us why don't we come over here we're going to look inside I've added a few more things if y'all have noticed we've got the gators now here Inventory has shown up tremendously, and shout out to a Chevy fan for doing the dealership, getting this dealership a little bit more precise for me. Can't do it without them. But of course, we got our showroom over here. We got some of our mowers, a couple of our old school mowers are in the shop, well, on the showroom floor. We even got our construction equipment, our John Deere 333G subcompact track loader. And then, of course, we got our John Deere sitting up here in the front. I'm not going to go back there just yet. But here is one of the new additions is the new shop here. So I wanted to make sure I have enough shop space. We're going to be taking in a lot of equipment. So I want to make sure I have plenty of shop space to work on equipment. We got our machines that are sitting in here still. Uh, both these tractors should be on their way out of here soon. We just brought in the 2950 front loader bucket. Uh, got one of the grapple buckets ready to go. The other grapple bucket's not ready to go. Brought in the old John Deere baler and for repair. The combines are still here waiting on parts. The 8130 is waiting on parts. The 84, 8400R front loader is still waiting on parts. But we got two of the brand new John Deere balers here as well. All the mochas are all set up. All the implements are all set up. Wandering around over here, we got a bunch of the front loaders finally rolled in couple grapple buckets that we've got together the buckets without the grapples are here and of course we got all the equipment here ready to go a couple tractors here and for service oil change only oil change hydraulic fluid change uh, gear oil on the 9570 that will wind up going over to the big shop to get service. It's a little too big for what's over here. Of course, we got our 5020 going on up to our 6 and 7 series tractors. Over here, we got a bunch of our 6 and 7s as well. 6 series. A couple of 8 series sitting over here as well. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to be sold. Got 9 series brand new sitting here ready to roll as well. 2022 9 series to be exact 
Of course, we got our implements sitting over here as well. Burst hogs ready to roll. Manure sprayers ready to roll. Mocos ready to roll. Your hay equipment's about ready. I am on a search. So, guys, if you always know anybody that is making some uh, brain fart for a second, frontier equipment, let me know in the comments down below. See, we got our 24 hour workshop. Fink case, John Deere. So let's jump over here. Show y'all what's changed. We got our uh, cultivators, plows. We got our self-propelled sprayers. Some more combines, some headers. Some more planters, the balers. Some more headers over here. Some more combines. So let's jump into the construction equipment, forestry equipment. All this is considered industrial so all this will be parked up on one spot we got our uh, forestry equipment and of course we got our other large equipment as well a couple mini excavators our big 870g we got our small John Deere wheel loader so I was doing some research, I, and then I remembered Bell is actually a form of a John Deere. Is a uh, B60E John Deere Cody. Hitachi is also part of John Deere. A lot of people, if you don't know, John Deere and well Hitachi owns the hydraulic system that is in your John Deere equipment. So. For a lot of people that don't know, your construction grade at the hydraulic system is, and your John Deere ag equipment is actually Hitachi. So that's why we got some Hitachi equipment. And then we got Hamrock, which is just a uh, brand that John Deere helps support and sell. But over here, we got something, we got a couple machines already sitting over here in the shop ready to go. We got a 180G. John Deere with a thumb on it and getting service and then of course we got a couple of John Deere's back here waiting to get service but this shop is so large and we need some large and a charge shop especially for a lot of our industrial equipment so huge shout out to them guys for making this mod as well and then of course we got the wash bay in here this will bring everything in and get it washed up but guys we're going to wrap up the video here i think eight minutes is long enough for y'all but we do got a service spot up here too for parts but again guys we're finally almost ready to open our doors up but guys, thank you all so much. We'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Be safe. Don't forget to play some more Farming Simulator 22. If you all are looking for a certain John Deere mod, let me know down in the comments below. I'll see if I can point you in the right direction to get a certain mod. There are a couple private mods in, my, in this server, so I can't really give those out to you. But thanks to Crooked Creek Buildings, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun and later on.